So do you, when, when you're playing with your, your business and your money flows and your revenue streams, are you asking for money or are you asking for profit? This is something that has, has come to my attention lately and has changed a lot for me. I used to ask for money and the beautiful thing is I was asking for money and money was showing up. I love the whole universe of ask and receive, and it's a huge part of how I create my business and my money flows and my life and my reality. So I was, I, but I was asking for money, more money was coming and guess what? So were more expenses. My, my business income was going way, way, way up as were my expenses because of the cost of generating money, you know, there is a cost of doing business. And oftentimes when we have more income, we have more expenses that go along with it. That's just one of the ways that business tends to work. And I realized, and somebody brought it to my attention that I was not asking for profit. And I went, Oh my gosh, I'm not looking at profit. I'm not asking for profit. I was so much more interested in my gross income than I was in my net, which is okay. I, I never said I was like the smartest person in the world. <laughs> um, but because for me, you know, with, with, when you have a business, like there's a lot of expenses that your business can cover when you're, you know, when you, when you own your own business. And so it kind of was all, you know, a big, big pot of money, you know? Um, but when I started really looking at profit and asking for profit really specifically, my whole business started to change. Everything rearranged itself actually. Um, and the inflows, the outflows, it all started to change and rearrange organically when I started really going, okay, I'd like to actually be creating a lot more profit. And the thing about profit is that profit isn't only the bottom line. It's not only the net income. When you look at your profit and loss statement, it's not the, you know, the gross receipts, less the expenses equals the net. It's it. I mean, that's part of it, but profit is actually so much more and so much greater profit from an energetic standpoint is the creation of a greater future. And the thing about money and profit and the future, a greater future, is that when you are creating a greater future, you're creating it for you and, you know, for the world. I mean, the world gets greater when you get greater by default. That's just how it works. Um, but part of a greater future for you and for the world, but even if we just look at you, part of a greater future for you is you actually having more profit and more money. So when you start to look from the perspective and ask for and move toward creating a profitable reality, a profitable future, having, having, creating a greater future as the profit that you're capable of generating, that includes more money for you. It includes more financial profit for you, more net income for you. And it's also so much bigger. And so many people that are entrepreneurs are seekers. There are people that are interested in actually a different conversation in the world. There are people that are, that look at themselves and like to, you know, have these types of conversations. And for a lot of those types of people, profit, like the, like just simply the ask for more money, it's not big enough. It's not exciting enough. It's not rewarding enough. It's not, it's not enough to ask for. Um, because money for a lot of us doesn't even really make sense. It's just kind of this arbitrary thing. It's something that got created a long time ago and we all kind of stuck with it. And here we are. Um, and it, it can be used against people and it's, you know, it can be a lot of, like, there's a lot of things that people create with money that are not very generative. So, but when we start to go, okay, the way bigger ask is for the ask of profit, creating a future, creating a greater future that includes me having more money, more actual financial profit, somehow that it tends to feel big enough. 
it has a way bigger energy for people. And, um, and it's easier to kind of like wrap ourselves around and start to redirect how we look at things, how we're creating things, how we orient ourselves. And the amazing thing is, is that what I've seen for me in, in the time that I've been asking for more profit and looking from a different point of view, it, it's all changing. And I can see this beautiful trajectory of the profit that I'm creating as a greater future in the world and for me, and also how that includes my financial future getting greater as well and greater financial profitability for me as well. And it doesn't look like I thought it was going to look, um, but it never will. And when we're looking at the future and we're looking at the energy of things and seeing how it's getting greater and also, you know, have the information to be able to look at your bottom line, to, to run your numbers in your business and see what's going on. That's if you don't have the, the capacity, if you don't have the systems for that in place, I highly encourage you to put them in place because it really is very valuable to be able to get that information. And it's wonderful to get it at the click of a button. And we can do that a lot these days with QuickBooks and all the financial tracking systems and having a bookkeeper and all that stuff. Um, Cause it'll give you information about what's going on in your business. It's really valuable for you to have more awareness. Um, but, but look at all of it, look at all of it and ask for all of it and include the future that you would like to create. And you will probably see something very different show up in every way, including financially.